Today we have in the studio New Blue Titler Live 4. This is a program which is designed to turn data into graphics. It can be used for all of your graphical needs, whether you're talking about simple lower thirds, scoreboards, presentation graphics, social media integration, and it works with all of your favorite live production hardware and software, Blackmagic ATEM, vMix, TriCaster, other legacy switchers via SDI, HDMI output. We'll get into all of that. Software comes in five different versions, sport, present, social, complete, and broadcast. We'll go through the differences between each of them. So let's take a look at the UI in general and get a feel for the software and what it does. So this is the Titler Live UI, and I like to think of it as broken down into four main areas. Um, program out, uh, what they call the live monitor, which is going to show you what's going out to air right now, which is a, a lower third and a bug. And then we have the editing slash preview window where we can uh, edit things before they go live to air. So if we want to make a change to a title really quickly before taking it to air, we can just pop in here and make edits to it. And then we have uh, our rundown list, which is where we control what is actually going live to air. So I have a, a list of different templates and the data that is feeding them and what their names are and what's currently on deck. And I can bring up different graphics and elements um, live as I go through it. And up above here, we have uh, an input. And these in, this input in particular is a spreadsheet. And this spreadsheet is driving this first title here. So if I step through these different elements of the spreadsheet, you can see that we get a nice animation over here as we transition from element to element, which makes for a live uh, way of turning spreadsheet data into graphics that we can then feed into our live production. Another neat thing that we can do with spreadsheets is we can also um, make them animations. Uh, we can, instead of, you saw this animated on and all of them came on at the same time, but instead of having them all come on at the same time, let's have just one come on at a time. So I'm gonna select this one, bring it on live, and then we can see just this element came on. And what's important about this is that if you're doing a conference and the speaker's addressing key points in their presentation, the operator here can follow along as those key points are presented at the pace of the speaker. And it really makes a nice way of punching up a presentation. But Titler Live isn't just about presentation graphics, it can also do uh, sports. And what I have down here is a scoreboard template and I have uh, nothing attached to it at the moment. I want to attach an input. So I'm gonna go into my dropdown and I have, because this is the broadcast version, I have a number of different um, elements, uh, inputs in here. But what I'm gonna go for is my scoreboard tool. I have uh, Sportscast, New Tech Data Link, uh, Stat Crew, um, scoreboards, RSS, spreadsheets, etc. But in this case, I'm just going to do a manual scoreboard so that we can manually score this. And when I select that basketball scoreboard, it brings up a very specific tool for incrementing scores in, uh, in basketball. It has all the different elements that I would need to um, score a game. And one of the neat things about this is that while this is um, nicely on the uh, the screen that the operator can operate, um, it's also handy that it's available um, on the network. So we can open this in a browser and anybody on the same network with say a touchscreen tablet um, can sit there and they can manage the scoring. So the score operator, uh, the graphics operator can handle something else. So that's a really neat feature of the, the scoreboard tools and that's the scoring input. Another aspect of Titler Live is the ability to bring in social media and turn it into graphics. So what I've done is I've attached the Social Pro input to this particular template. And that is going to let me use this browser to step through different um, posts with um, text and images 
and I have uh, a number here that I can step through, and when I click play, what it's going to do is it's going to take the text from here and populate it into this field and the image from here and populate it in the image field. And of course, there are many different kinds of um, templates that you can use. This would be appropriate not just for Facebook, but also for um, Twitter. So we can go through and we can use these different social media elements and we can do multiple ones at the same time so if you're monitoring both twitter and facebook you can use that to populate uh, both elements of content into this field allowing you to bring in things like polls and content um, tweets and comments on your live production during production making a really great way to make your uh, bring your audience into the live production Titler Live has a number of different methods of connecting to live productions. So in the video out, we have all these different options here, whether it's NDI, which is going to be a really nice option uh, because it has up to 16 channels. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, the ability to use AirSend for TriCaster, HDMI out, uh, a watch folder to create graphics, uh, ping sequence, SDI output via um, Blackmagic cards, uh, direct connection to OBS, uh, HDMI key, which would let you output via HDMI and send out um, on black, blue, or green so that you could do a Luma key or a Chroma key. So, and then these are the different setups for watch folders and ping sequences. So if I want to use NDI, which um, is my preference, uh, I'm actually going to connect it to a copy of vMix running on the same machine, but it could be anywhere on the network. And I just go to add input, find uh, my NDI, signal here that's going to be this guy and then i can bring it up as an overlay over my program so now as i make changes to the content over here so whatever we bring up whether it's bugs or lower thirds and as we make changes to our spreadsheet that updates live on the other end in vmix or whatever tricaster destination we can do the same thing with um, NDI only we can add more channels. So let's just throw a lower third bug. So I'm going to put up this bug here. Now we have two screens going to channels and all I need to do to add that channel is go back to my NDI and now we'll see next to uh, channel one we have channel two. We can we can name these as well. So here's my second channel and what are we going to do with that? We could put it up in our second overlay or we can put it up into preview. So now I can do two channels of graphics, one for program, another for preview. So we can preview our graphics before we see them um, or we can just have multiple layers and um, position them differently. And uh, the other neat thing is, is that we can actually from uh, VMix and I believe TriCaster, we can send commands over to New Blue. So if we go into the command list, I can uh, animate all out so the operator can actually trigger it so that all of these things um, turn on and off. So there's everything triggering at once. Um, and then we can take it, all, take it all off as well. And that's all done right from within vMix. And of course, you could do that within Titler, and then we just make it all go away. So that is how you route multiple NDI feeds from uh, New Blue Titler over to vMix or other NDI applications. And um, the same is true for you know, other things. We could send out multiple SDI key and fills um, and uh, get a lot of different ways of connecting Titler to uh, your production. As I mentioned at the beginning, New Blue Titler Live is a great way of turning data into graphics, whether you're talking about social media or presentation spreadsheets or sports data. This program will increase the quality of your live production graphics immensely. If you want to find out more information, check them out on their website, which is newblueeffects.com. Once again, I'm Eric Pratt, and I want to thank you for spending a little bit of time with us talking about New Blue Effects Titler Live.